Today I'm going to talk about the difference between recreationally drinking and drugging and addictively drinking and drugging and using them as a coping mechanism for your feelings and whatnot. So the first things first, I would say your tolerance will raise. When I first started drinking, my tolerance would be like two, three beers. I'd feel tipsy or drunk. By the end of my run, I'd have a whole 12 pack and I could drive a car. So there was my tolerance. Um, second, you'll go through pause, which is post-acute withdrawal syndrome. You'll be shaky, depressed, uh, kind of manic, like your highs are very high, your lows are very low. Like personally, I'm still going through pause because like my, um, I can't even hold a pencil, my hands are so shaky. But I don't know if that's ever gonna go away, but I hope so. Um, also, I had very bad hives when I first stopped uh, drinking and drugging. I had hives everywhere. Um, next, uh, you can't stop even if you want to, and you can't stop thinking about the drug. You'll have drug dreams. It'll just be on your mind constantly. Um, and then even if you're like, damn, I really don't wanna take this drink right now, or I really don't wanna do this drug, or, I really don't wanna snort this line, you will do it anyway. And that's what's scary about this disease is that even if you don't want to, you do it anyway. Because there's a voice in the back of your head that just tells you that you have to because you need it to function. Um, you'll lose interest in things that you once really loved and cared about and had goals and aspirations and things that really like you looked forward to in life. Like for example, I wanted to join the Peace Corps. I, well, I want to join the Peace Corps. But for a long time, like when I was in rehab, I forgot about that. People would ask me what I wanted to do and I'd be like, I don't know, like, why are you asking me? And and then finally I came home and I was like, wow, like I, oh my gosh, like how did I forget? I wanna be in the Peace Corps. Like I already have my application like half filled out and I have a recruiter. So I don't understand like how I forgot about that, but that's something I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. So it's amazing that I forgot about that for so long. Um, You'll have trouble doing daily things like driving, going to your job, like school, anything, you'll really have trouble maintaining life, like talking, a conversation, hold, maintaining conversation, you'll have trouble doing everything, like just daily activities, normal activities, like even food shopping, like you won't even be able to like push the cart without being high. Um, you'll begin to steal or borrow money. Um, yeah, things that you never thought you would do for money because all you care about is the next high. Um, you'll have two sets of friends. This is a really big one because you'll have your drinking and drugging friends and then you'll have your real friends. You'll have your drinking and drugging friends that your real friends don't like but and you hide your relationship with them and you hide your drug use from your real friends. So yeah, that's a real big red flag when you have two different friend groups, one that you drink and drug with and then your real friends and then you hide your drug use and like how much you hang out with the other group of friends. Um, you'll lose weight have bloody noses. If you're a snorter like me, I'll snort anything that you can put up my nose. Uh, I'll, I had bloody noses constantly. You'll sleep too much or too little. I, that's how my mom always knew I relapsed. I would sleep for days, could not sleep enough, couldn't catch up on sleep. I was in bed and once I was out, I was out, couldn't wake me up, I was I was gone. Um, I was restless, irritable, and discontent. I was mean, had an attitude. My mom would say good morning and I would say F you. Um, it was, and cra it was crazy. I was two different people. When I was high, I was a functioning part of society. But when I was withdrawing, I was, I was horrible. I was a menace to society. Honestly, I was. Um, you've changed. Like, like I said, like you, you're just two different people. Um, and then the last thing is, I would say this kind of ties everything together. Drugs say jump, and you say how high. So when drugs start controlling your everyday life and they tell you what to do, that's when you have a problem. So if this pertains to anyone, please message me because you're not alone and I'll help you and we could get through this together. So thanks for listening.